Thank you for joining us and welcome to St. Paul's Anglican Grammar School. My name is Gordon Oldham and I'm the Deputy Principal. As you may know, St. Paul's was founded in 1982 in Warrigal by local families who believed a high quality, independent school education should be available to as many families as possible. Fast forward more than 40 years and we now find ourselves at the intersection of tradition and innovation guided by our strategic and master plan. These roadmaps articulate our significant focus areas as we further strengthen our Warrigal campus, expand our Trelgan campus and establish a new presence in Drouin. Our strategic plan is the cornerstone of St Paul's Anglican Grammar's future success, embodying the school's commitment to learn well, live well and lead well. This meticulously crafted plan drives academic excellence and focuses on nurturing well-rounded individuals who are active contributors to society. Expanding outward from our core values of wisdom, integrity, compassion and respect, the plan is designed to be both visionary and practical, supporting our school both now and in the future. Working with our staff, the initiatives proposed will integrate seamlessly with our educational framework, becoming a guiding force in our daily activities. Hi, my name is Rowan Van Ray and I'm the Head of Junior School at our Warrigal campus. As Gordon highlighted, our dedicated teaching staff have fully embraced the strategic pillars by integrating them in their teaching professional development plans. This proactive engagement has made our commitment tangible and provided us with living examples of how these principles are brought to life in our learning environment in and outside the classroom. Our dedication to learn well transcends traditional methods encompassing tailored programs and individual success in the classroom each and every day. In one notable example, led by Christina Bramstead, one of our Year 1 teachers, students embarked on a journey of improvement. At the start of the process, students read a designated body of text, recorded their efforts and sent personal goals. Through dedicated practice and guidance, students re-recorded their readings at the end of the term, revealing tangible improvement. The read and review practice was a valuable activity for the Year 1 children to engage with. Through differentiation, all students, even those who struggled or were shy about recording their reading, were able to improve their accuracy, automaticity and expression when reading their designated passage, highlighting the efficacy of this personalised approach. In our pursuit of Live Well, we prioritise holistic development of all individuals. To achieve this, our wellbeing and pastoral teams play a pivotal role. Through initiatives such as social skill groups, students encountering connectivity issues are identified and provided with tailored support. These groups offer sessions with themed activities, including role-playing exercises with peers. By incorporating a range of examples and interactions, students enhance their social and emotional skills and foster a sense of belonging and resilience. This approach contributes to students feeling comfortable and supported in their learning environment increasing their overall well-being and optimism for the future. We maintain high expectations under our Lead Well pillar to ensure every educator exemplifies personal excellence. To foster our continuous improvement and collaboration culture, we have introduced a peer observation process among our teaching staff. This initiative supports an open door policy. This encourages teachers to observe one another's classrooms and offer constructive feedback on their teaching methods. Enabling educators to exchange insights and suggestions strengthen our teaching practices through mutual support and shared expertise. The collaborative environment ensures our teachers are continually motivated to innovate and evolve their methods. As a natural consequence, this dynamic educational setting empowers our teachers to provide an excellent learning environment for all students. Our pillars are embodied in our actions, ensuring we grow together, and we do this through strong community and connections. As school leaders, we lead the Student Representative Council, or SRC, which meets each week. During these meetings, we explore ways to give back to our community. We discuss and thoroughly research various charities and organisations that could benefit from our support. One of the special projects in our Endeavour program, students have visited the residents of local aged care homes. It's a small act, but we believe it makes a big difference in brightening someone's day. We also focus on helping our wider community. For example, we recently organised a fundraiser and were thrilled to donate the collected funds 
to support the community in Merbu North following storm damage. Each project we choose helps students learn more about the importance of service, leadership and the other impacts they can have. It's about more than just giving, it's about connecting with and understanding the needs of others around us. As we continue our journey guided by our strategic plan, the commitment of our teaching staff to these pillars is evident in every classroom, interaction and collaboration of success. Our educators' consideration and attention towards the strategic pillars is not just a commitment on paper, it's a living, breathing reality at St Paul's Anglican Grammar.